I don't know if that's still a thing or not. Did that ever happen to you? Um, not to my own dog, no. Yeah. Right. Or to you as a person. I remember as a kid, it was like. I remember smelling skunks all the time in New York, but I never smelled them in Georgia. Same. I know we have them in Georgia. But Same thing in Pennsylvania. It was like weird. a thing. It was like, don't get sprayed by the skunk. You're going to have to take a bath in tomato juice. So, I don't know. <laughs> that was enough to keep me away because I don't even like to drink tomato juice. Never mind, get bathed in it. Yeah. Uh, but send us your comments on social media. Share your pictures and video with us as well. Just use the hashtag GuestTV. Not unexpectedly, I suppose. Because but it, we had some extremes. I mean, Vegas had set their all-time record back uh, earlier this summer. Exactly. But I mean, here in the South, we're getting a nice break from the humidity, at least for now, yeah. in Georgia. And we have the heat. It's nice. But the humidity has gone down. It's summertime, and we just don't get rain in the summertime. Um, right now, the Park Fire, which is the fifth largest fire in California, 37% contained. I mean, while they have made some progress they here. Have. This has been burning for quite a while. And it's going to continue to produce the smoke, which is obviously bad mm -hmm. for air quality. And this is not the only fire that we're tracking across the West. There are several that are burning, even into the Northwest. Terrible air quality in Washington and Oregon. Mm -hmm. You can see where we stand right now, Jen, uh, well over 809,000 acres. I mean, well above the average, well beyond last year. Last year, we just kind of lucked out with the fire season that wasn't as uh, as tough as it could have been. Um, so today, again, is going to be a day that you got to Monitor the conditions. Interestingly, much rain to keep up with for the storm drains. Um, and this is a situation where it's a true flash flood situation. It's not river flooding. It's right. like urban flooding. This was actual flash flooding that yeah. happens more in a flash. That's why it's called flash flooding. And yeah. So let's talk about the situation that we still have, you know, more storms to deal with today. We do, and we could see heavy rainfall. There's a number of areas that you got to watch out for. The middle of the country is one spot, and we've been dealing with that this morning. We also have thunderstorms, though, that will develop later today and turn into a flood report started to come in and yeah. we knew how bad it was. Yeah, now we worried about that today because we have some thunderstorms, um, not here, thankfully, we're getting a break in Oklahoma, well, in this part of Oklahoma, but we've got thunderstorms that will be developing uh, through the afternoon hours that will lead to another round of overnight thunderstorms. So clusters of storms, you know, these overnight just sat over them yeah. for several hours. And then we started to see the storm reports of this road was closed and that road was closed. I mean, it was just multiple impacts here. Yeah, I mean, look at a lot of urban issues here, community issues. You can see this, you know, this is a neighborhood street. It looks mm -hmm. more like a river. And we are worried about this kind of thing happening with these big overnight clusters of storms that drop heavy rain. It's mm -hmm kind of a summer mode of transportation for right. these uh, thunderstorms. Not to mention the severe weather to go along with it right, in right. some spots. Yeah, so let's look at that and I'll show you what exactly or where we're exactly watching this for. I mean, we had last night a big cluster of storms, two of them, 